This video shows how to operate the desktop embroidery machines at Beam. For the training project, start by choosing a design on the machine. There are several different categories you can choose from, including stock embroidery patterns and brother exclusive designs. You can also choose a Beam or UNC pattern by clicking on the pocket button from the pattern screen and then choosing the machine. Once you decide on a pattern, select its icon and hit the set key to go to the editing screen. You can move the pattern with the move key or by clicking and dragging the pattern. You can also resize or rotate with the size and rotate keys. If you choose a pattern with more than one color, you can organize your colors by clicking the thread palette key. Remember that the color of the physical thread that you load on the machine is what actually determines your embroidery colors. The colors on the screen are only there as a reference. You can also add more than one pattern to your design. To do so, click the Add key and choose another design. Let's make the E in this Beam logo the same color as the first design. Make sure that it's exactly the same number, or else the embroidery machine won't group those two elements together. Hit the Thread Plus key to go to the next pattern element. This element, the other letters in Beam, will be set to black. When you are finished editing, hit the Edit End key to go to the Embroidery Settings screen. If you are embroidering a design with multiple colors, you can group the colors together using the Color Sorting key. This minimizes the number of times you have to unload and load different colors of thread. From this screen, you can also trace your design with the Trial key. This will show you the footprint of your embroidery design on the hooped fabric. After checking these settings, hit the Embroider key. The Start Stop button should turn green. Press the Start Stop button to begin embroidering. If you picked a multicolor design, at some point you will need to manually change the upper thread to the next color. If you need a refresher on how to do this, rewatch the Threading the Machine video. Remember to lock the machine while threading for safety. Once you have changed the thread color, you can unlock the machine and press the Start Stop button to continue the embroidery. When you are finished, simply raise the hoop securing lever and remove the hoop. 